we are Steve and Jill. Together, we've been buying and reselling land since the 90s. Our data-centric approach leaves our buyers asking, how can you sell it so cheap? Here on the Land Academy Show, we answer that and more. I'm Stephen Jack Butella. And I'm Jill DeWitt, and this is the Land Academy Show. And we're going to talk about a couple of things. Number one, what we learned from the uh, completion of Career Path 8, we just completed it a couple of days ago. Mm-hmm. And then a little uh, later on in the episode, we'll talk about why Land Academy is the most experienced land investment membership group on the internet, namely because we started it all. I was going to say, doesn't our gray hair, is that what you're going, are we going to talk about that? <laughs> we're we're going to talk about my gray hair and, how, how? and truthfully, we're going to talk about why you should or shouldn't be in this group. Wait a minute. I'm going to say how to be the most experienced and while not looking with your goal to not look like the most experienced <laughs> physically, that's, that's just the girl thing. Maybe we'll share some Jill secrets about dining out. Oh, I have some funny things. You want to talk about dining out? Yeah. Oh, I was going to talk about what happened this morning. Go ahead. This is great. All right. So here's here's my little side note. This is my personal insight into Jill moment. Oh, boy. <laughs> so this was my revelation this morning. You know, um, little boys, there's a when they're like, I don't know, 8, 9, 10, you know, you know this is true if you have little boys. There's going to be a shirt in their wardrobe that they just love. Oh, boy. You know, back in the day, my brother, it was like a Hot Wheels shirt. I'm sure for my my son, number one son. I don't this is coming three. down on me, by the way. Oh, yeah. This is going to be good. Number one. Number Oh, I know. Number one, it was like a Toy Story shirt. Number three um, might have been dinosaurs i can't remember what he liked but anyway you know little boys just have this shirt number four or number three never grew out of it he still wears uh well this is where i was going psych- with that too. psycho bunny everything yeah so here's where i'm going with this so they they wear it eight days a week <laughs> you have to peel it off them to wash it to put it back on them and they throw a fit and they run around without a shirt while you're washing it so um and then they hit their teen years, usually. Number three, this hasn't happened yet. This is what I'm waiting for, he's referring to. And there's a girl that comes along. And then they go from wearing that same shirt um, for a week straight to showering three times a day. I watch my brother do it. I watch number one do it. And number three, it hasn't happened yet. So <laughs> I totally agree with fingers that. Fingers crossed. I hope it happens at some number point. Number three's out of the house, by the way. Yeah. He's just a real slow and everything. He could stink somewhere else. <laughs> he's got an academic scholarship, but he's, I he can't figure out anything else. But he smells. So yep. <laughs> That's it. So... Yeah, but no, that's, but the, the funny thing is, so then. This is going to tie into land investment, I promise. Here's somehow. my revelation. It comes full circle. So I realized today, as I was going through your closet and I was gathering laundry, I was sneaking clothes that you love. I'm like, you know, these, this, there's a couple outfits you have that are in heavy rotation. So I am now sneaking them out to wash them and put them back. Here's what's really going on. But wait, we have a version of that too. It's okay. So then I can end on this. It's not. It's not a pick on you moment. It was just kind of a funny. Say. It's all funny true, by the way. Guy girl revelation. My revelation is, in case you haven't noticed, that I'm starting to just think there's parts of it's not that's not nuts. Like I talked to this with my team. I had a small uh, staff meeting today with one side of our company, and I said there's just women on the call. That's why I could do this. That's just, that would I'm be like, Jill's side. My side. So I said. I said, uh, you know, I'm starting to think the whole Steve Jobs thing where you have 10 of the same pullovers and 10 of the same jeans and you just wear them every day. I know that's not I've been saying that for years. But you have to have 10 of them, not one or two of them. Oh, Jill. <laughs> this but is I know a, you have. You are throwing me under the bus. For years I've been saying have. we just wear the I, same thing over and over. I know you have and I, I hear you. Because you know why? Because there's more important things to spend your time on. How's oh that? my gosh, I could kiss you right now. You can't kiss me. There right are a hundred more things important than all the stuff that Jill just said. I'm so really let's get to it. Busy this week. Oh, get back to get to this. 
here's what's really going on very quickly. If this show is going to air on the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's tomorrow, and Joe's sl- sliding, sliding straight into mom mode oh. and like provider mode, and you know, <laughs> yeah, cleaning the true. house and all of that. So making sure everybody has what they need, they're all comfortable. She's going to have a lot of opinions today. You know what I do? I do heavy prep so I can have heavy fun. That's good. Thank you. Each week on the show, we answer questions from the Land Academy member Discord forum. We review land acquisitions from our weekly member uh, map webinars, and we take a deep dive into two land-related topics by popular request. If you have, a, or if you want a sneak peek of our Discord forum, and seriously, it's worth going there. Go to landacademy.com. It's free. You're going to see everybody communicating with each other. Uh, you just can't participate in it. And you can't see all as of a it. non-member, yeah. Yeah. So, and for you members listening, those those uh, secret areas where we're where we're uh, looking for deal funding and talking about that stuff, those are hidden. So yeah. All right. So here's a t- question. M wrote, "I've got a question for those who have the acquisition part down pretty good. I like to delegate the handling of sellers." after they call and speak with my incoming uh, call team. Me too. Like a pet live. Like, so the, he's I like, I like want to delegate out. The call comes in. We have an in, inbound call team like Pat Live. And I don't even want to call them back. I am right there so, with you. <laughs> for example, this person would be like a Jill and reach back out to the sellers and possibly uh, negotiate a deal for the purchase if, if applicable. That's it. After this, then I could take over and have the rest of my team handle it from from there until the end sale. Do any of you hire out that part? If so, I'm curious to learn some of your strategies. I know your answer. I hired it out for years and years, and then I married it. <laughs> yeah, you made it a partner. You didn't Oh, <laughs> Did you? Yeah, you did kind of hire it out. That's true. I, I had 11 people do this prior to, to joining professional forces with Jill. None of them. Uh, you know what? If you're hiring people, plan to have a le- at least 11 people let you down. Turnover. Yeah. You'll have that kind of turnover until you just connect with the right person. Boy, that's true. Hey, that's one of the good uses of this is a great question because somebody, I don't know, I didn't check the responses on this. Um, it's a very new question, so I don't think it got responded to, but I've seen these kinds of questions in Discord over the years and they get responded to. There's a lot of Jills in the group, there's a lot there of Jacks are. in the group. This guy's a Jack. Yep. And, uh, that's just a very natural separation of responsibilities. True. So that's one of the reasons that we're a community. You know what else? And this is a very hard thing uh, to train. I can coach a lot. I, I used to think I could do it. You were like, you mean you could teach Me this? And I'm like, heck yeah, really? I used to think a lot yeah. could do a lot of things. <laughs> this a couple is one years of ago, I did a whole course. We did a couple years ago. This time of year, it was around the holidays. Oh, shoot, it was COVID time. It was 2020 then. So during December 2020, we did some, we called them intensives. Like we did a couple, like a four week training. You did one and I did one. And mine was on this. I'm like, Mm -hmm. I can totally coach and teach people how to do this. He's like, just as good as you. And like, just as good as me. No, I can't. I don't, you know, I could get them. I can get them. I can bring them a long way, but I I can't. But some of this is just nature. I started out my real estate career as a commercial real estate broker in Michigan, in southeastern Michigan and Detroit, leasing vacant uh, office space. I often wonder right now if that office space ever got leased, ever. And I bet the answer is no. Anyway, I learned very quickly that I didn't want to do that. So I I was uh, allowed to choose my specialization. So after a few months of doing that, I specialized nationally in buying and selling long-term care facilities, super specialized with a finite data set. There were only 12,000 licensed facilities at that time. And so there was my uh, market and it worked out really well. So I sold a bunch of buildings and I got as a prize with a few other people in the office, uh, oh, like a four day retreat with Zig Ziglar. Do you remember who that is? I do know who that is. How to sell better, how to be better about yourself, how fun all the self improvement. And I vomited every day. I can't stand that stuff. I don't understand sales strategies and manipulating people and shaking their hand a certain way and looking at them sideways in the oh, eye, not directly in the eye and on and on and on. And I can tell you my life partner sitting next to me 
is was born this way. She didn't learn it. She walks into any conversation. This is a compliment, uh, not anything else but a compliment. And she's going to get what she wants at by the time it's over. True. So that's just that I like this. Per- I love I chose this person's question because good for you that you're just like, yeah, I'm not going to answer the phone just right away. I, I think I would encourage everybody listening to this or a member or not. Look at yourself in the mirror and see which one you are. Maybe you're neither. Maybe you're not cut out for it at all. Maybe you're Jack, maybe you're Jill. Run with that mm-hmm. and find somebody else. To, if you're Jill, find somebody like me and vice versa. Touche. Today's first topic is called What We Learned from the Completion of Career Path 8. Uh, like I said just a little earlier, we just got done with it. It's an, If you don't know what Career Path is, it's our advanced kind of instructional for lack of a better description, one-on-one or we on Zoom, we, we uh, have a small group of people. Usually it's around 20 people mm-hmm. and we all, everybody's mics on and, and they're, um, Camera the down. camera's on and, and we walk through the program with office hours and the whole thing and, and we really learn from people uh, from all walks of the land investor life. We learn all together. And that's what this is about. I can tell you what I learned this time. Well, it's not just that. It's like really it's teaching our stuff at the really highest level. It's for people who are uh, understand what we do. You're in the business. You've already done plenty of deals. You maybe you've owned a company or two. Um, maybe you're retired. Maybe you're not. You know, and you're here to like, I'm not here. I'm here to not mess around. I'm not here to learn you know the the how do i do this the little things it's the big picture like i need to learn how to make go from five hundred thousand dollars a year because i've been doing that for three years to make five million dollars a year that's that's the tweak i need in my business and so that's where we get and we all get in it and we we together you know we help uh figure out what the little issues i hate to say i hate to use the word problem but you know, identify what the hangups are, how to solve them, and and push them forward. And now we even take it to the next level where we offer the tools yeah. and services if they don't want to hire it out. Like you can use Jill's use staff. Our team, you know, which is really yeah. phenomenal. So I'm really excited. It's about being that. responded to really well. Hmm. And again, it's, you know, the whole thing is this is Land Academy. I'll, I'll tell you right now. And this is, I talk, this is how I talk to Career Path. Like, this is, you guys are Career Path. I'm not going to talk to you about buying for $3,000 and telling for 10. That's stupid. That's not what this is. You're never going to go rich that way. I might as well talk to you about how to buy for, you know, 5000 and sell it for, you know, two forty nine dollars a month for five years. I'm not doing that too. That's going to a long path. If ever, you're going to really, you know, bring in some big dough. But Land Academy, I tell you, we're bringing it back in. I don't, we have developed, it's taken us nine years of Land Academy to get this amazing, solid, smart community. And I'm here to protect them. <laughs> and I'm here, I love where this is going. I am. And I'm here to shield them. And I'm here to only let in the right people. And you know what? I'm not sure I'm going to even ever open up enrollment like we used to. I'll just say it right now. I agree with you, Joe. Our enrollment is closed right now. Yeah, it's closed through the end of the year, at least. Um, And I'm not sure. I think when I roll it back, we're going to make some changes. I have, because we've kind of settled in. You know what it is? I settled in with that awesome community of people who have been with us for years and like we're just a part of their life we're a part of their business it's like if you had a franchise and maybe your mcdonald's franchise you always are going to buy the mcdonald's meat you're always going to need the mcdonald's buns you're always going to need the because that's part of the the business right that's us for them we're always their data provider we're always their fill in the blank provider their mail provider and we're just going to make it better more efficient as we go on and i'm going to come up with more tools as they need them and as things evolve. So this didn't mean to take this all about that direction, but um, you know, career path is a perfect example of our community and what it is. Like we created career path, what's what's going on? 
you just you dove Am pretty I hard, into, hard the... into the second topic, oh. but that's that's totally well, fine because I think it's blend together. well because I think that these <laughs> well these two topics go together, which is why I chose Thank you. them. All right, so back to career path. You know, what did we learn at the end of career path? Holy moly, we have well, I learned I have enough, I have an, I have more people in our community who are so sharp that are quiet that we don't know about. We don't know about you sometimes until you pop up for career path. <laughs> and it's the greatest thing. You're like, you've been making how much all this time? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. I'm like, wow, good for you. And like, yeah, and I'm here to make more. All right, let's do it. There's huge power in be belonging to a group of like kind minded people, but within that group, a certain element of diversification. And so I think as humans, we're, we, you know, we all started out in little villages. Mm -hmm. When somebody's a blacksmith, somebody uh, manages raising corn, somebody raises the kids and on and on and on. And so we're all kind of going in the same direction, but the blacksmith doesn't have the same skills as the corn raiser or the babysitter. And so that's what career path ends up being. People coming from different walks of life that have a different take on this. Like for example, we had a guy in this last career path who was in a completely different country in the middle of Europe. So that, so for him to attend was an 11 hour time difference. So mm -hmm. he wanted to be there. You know, he's getting up mm -hmm. in the middle of the night for this stuff. Mm -hmm. Incredibly successful, sends out half a million mailers a year. Never closes a deal unless he really wants it. He's a wholesaler, which uh, I have to be honest in the beginning, I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not sure that th this is okay. Drives, he owns a couple of Teslas. Again, I'm not sure that's okay for a, a different, that's, that's for a different show. All things that we have said, to, all <laughs> things that he has said to him, so we're all okay. We're yeah, all this is an, I'm not talking behind okay. his back. He's, oh. if, if he's listening to this, is he laughing right now? We get to know each other very well. I so we got <laughs> eight straight weeks. It's awesome. Of, you know, office hours and a guided module yeah. asking this guy's questions. This guy, what's it like to, I wanted to know, what's it like to send out half a million to a million mailers a year? How many deals do you do? What kind of response do you get? What, what happens when you answer the phone? And you know what his answer was with everything? I don't know. I don't do that. Well, yeah. What do you do? I just, uh, I make sure everybody does what they're supposed to do. Yeah. He didn't care. And he, very often throughout this whole process, he's like, oh, I just got a $10,000 wire transfer in. I'm not sure. I don't which, know where it came from. Which deal was that? Isn't that Hold great? on, I'm going to go look it up. I love those when that happens. Just didn't care. Oh so there's a huge value after you get to a certain point and not micromanaging things. Then we had people in there on the exact opposite of the uh, spectrum mm -hmm. who may or may not have been a different gender. And they uh, wanted to know every single freaking detail of every deal that they did they want to know who's doing it who's answering the phone what the seller's middle name is when they're going to close why they're going to sell it who's going to sell it and on and on and on so there's a massive amount of education that goes on uh between you know if it's a I, all the stuff that I do at Land Academy and buying and selling land of all the things that I do in a, in a 40 hour work week career path is one of my favorite I, I come out of that learning so much and everybody else, you know, so they say, gets a kick out of it too. I think I'm gonna end it on this for me. Everyone agrees that one of the best things you can do is surround yourself with people who are where you wanna be. So you start thinking like them and acting like them and making decisions like them. And for me, that's career path. Yeah. If you if you want to identify what's wrong with you, join Career Path, uh -huh. me, me included, yeah. or identify where the holes uh -huh. are yeah. and what you're you know why you're only let's say you know for us we make Jill and I make between two and five million dollars a year buying and selling land, and at the end of this Career Path and every Career Path, um, I said we have to make this change, this change, and this change because yeah. it's really a lot more effective. True. Let's take a look at one of our favorite land acquisitions from our weekly Thursday member webinar. Uh, would you do steal Kalaska County, Michigan? Oh, this is going to be good. Um, everyone's alive, five acres at the end of a cul-de-sac. I love that you put the attributes. Eh. Uh, ac adjacent, yes. Affordable, yes. Proposed cash price, 19900 bucks. Wow. Huh. Okay, hold, please. It's five acres. Oh, I said it looks bigger than five acres. Okay. Great. Okay. Great posting. Yeah. So Joe and I were just here. What is with the access, access again? This is Traverse City. Yeah. We were just here all in this area. Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Oh, at the end of the cul-de-sac. So mm. that's not, is that public? Hopefully it's not. There's no gateway to check. Yeah. Oh no, this is great. 
Excellent. Oh, it has an address. Huh. Why did they get an address for it? She says it was on the MLS a while ago. That's why there was an Okay, that makes me think that. So, so. let's look at that first. Okay, cool. Oh, man. I'm going to defer to uh, Jill and Brandon on this. I'm not going to buy it at 19 when they couldn't yeah. sell it at 19. Yep. yep. I'll That's, buy it for five. Yep. And I will personally, I like it for five. This mm. is where our P- oh, 9,500 is accepted offer. Oh. Mm, darn it. Hmm. Oh, thinks we could sell it for nine. Oh, she wants it. Well, well they tried they it. Couldn't. They tried it 20. And we're in a shoot a less desirable market than it was bet when it was listed. And the other thing too is five. is uh there's a huge disparity because we were there and I was studying this market. There's a substantial disparity in northern Michigan between the price of land and the price of finished houses. Usually mm-hmm. it's pretty, you know, you can make sense of it. And so I'm not sure why. Let's look at I'm gonna look at uh let's look at what's available around there. Yeah, this is what I mean. So she's gonna buy this for a 10 grand mm-hmm. and there are two houses north of it has this estimate of 225. So that would tell you that it's safe to pay to pay $20,000. Uh, but I don't think it is. Mm-hmm. I just don't because we just drove there and there's so much land mm-hmm. available. And I'll tell you, my sister is like, we couldn't go anywhere in the town of Traverse City without my sister's a celebrity real estate agent. Mm-hmm. I had no idea until we got there how how serious it was. Like we talked about real estate a lot while we were there. And she said, land, it just is hard to buy. Uh, it's hard to make sense of it from a money standpoint. Um, she certainly won't take any land listings because it, it's not worth her time. And uh, and this kind of just notes it. Like I I don't I just think there's so much there's so much dirt here, and everybody, including me, wants to be right on a lake, mm-hmm. and you can still get cheap property because there's just nothing but lakes around here. So I wouldn't. That's would okay. you buy it for five? There's a ton of county roads all over that part of uh, Michigan too. And this doesn't have the greatest access. It's got that little cul-de-sac end thing. I think you'd be setting yourself up some for trouble. For yeah. five grand, I'd let it ride. And the right person was going to go, yay, this is great. And you're, and, yeah. but it might take 18 months. Yeah. Oh. Or even the neighbor might buy it for 10 or something. Exactly. Totally agree. Hey, I'm going to talk about offers to owners for a minute. Since I was going to talk about closed. Thanksgiving. Oh, go ahead. That's good, though. (laughs) We could talk about that at the end. (laughs) So, no offers to owners. Whether you are a member or not, we can help you. We can pull data for you. We can scrub data for you. We can get it. We can scrape comps for you. Serve it up on a silver platter, ready for you to price it, and say let her rip and get it in the mail for me. We can do all of that. So just check it out. Go to uh, offers. The number two owners.com for more information tell them Jill sent you (laughs) let's take another question posted by one of our members on the land academy discord online community again if you want a sneak peek go to landacademy.com it's free okay start right here okay this is funny this is uh i can already tell i'm not going to say the name here's i'm just going to read verbatim what's in here you're not breaking my balls at all dave and it's fair. It's a fair question. I'm going to stop you right here. Dave's question is at the end of this. Okay. This is the answer. Okay. So then at the, okay. I'm replying so that folks today or in the future who may have this doubt can see the various perspectives. The answer to your question for me is simple. I don't care to fund 10 deals at $15,000 that sell for $50,000 in areas that have an average hold time of eight months <laughs> when the same $150,000 of capital can be churned two and three times in the same period in areas with three month hold times. That does not mean these are not viable deals. They simply don't fit inside my model, but do fit inside someone else's financial model, particularly those with one, larger capital stacks than mine, and two, longer time horizons for returns than mine. For me, once I no longer can generate turnable deals in 90 days, then I'll consider properties that are six month holds, et cetera. I also have to look at the ROI, return on attention, History has taught me that when I get too busy vacuuming up the nickels, I don't notice the dollar bills right in front of me. This is nothing short of brilliant. 
So Dave I, wrote... I would, if you're listening to this, I would rewind it and listen again. That's good. So Here's D- Dave's original question that sparked all this. And Dave wrote... So this is like kind of Dave's reply with this question. So you're not interested in turning 50000 into 300000 or 150000 into 500000 I'm not. Even if it takes over six months? Yes. Because when you I'm, say... I'm right there with this. You have a lot of those deals. I imagine 10 plus such deals. I'm not trying to break balls. I'm just suggesting that if you really have a lot like 10 of those fifteen dollars to $50,000 deals, the end result is the same as if you did one of the one hundred fifty dollars to $500,000 deals. Sure, everyone would rather just do a $150,000 to $500,000 deal, but in the absence of that, why not just bang out 10 of the smaller ones as long as the spread is nice enough, unless you are doing the big ones. So, you know, I just got to say that, um, well, first thing, I love that the original person who wrote the response here um, has an acquisition criteria and he's not settling. Yep. I have to say that's how I roll. Me too. I um, I had one the other day that I I don't even care what the whole, it was a buy for 90, sell for 117. Oh, geez. I know. And I had to write, I very nicely wrote back and I said, let's do the math here. And I wrote, I wrote, here's, if we buy for 90, and then like I think it was 91. And then closing costs, now I'm all in at 93. It all goes perfectly like you said, and I sell for 117. I back out the agent's commission. I'm gonna say at least 10%, like so 11 grand. And then I back out closing costs on the sales side, and I back out my initial investment. Now you and I are splitting $11,000 there. So we each get five grand and there's no wiggle room too. Should something go a little crazy? Had he said buy for 90, sell for 250 or 300, now let's talk. And so I wouldn't even look at, you know what's interesting? I didn't even entertain if it was a quick flip or not. It could have been a five minute flip. Like, I, I, you know, I'm not willing to risk make five grand and put in all the 90 or even half of it. So that wasn't enough for me. But my point is I have an acquisition criteria and that I didn't fit it. And I love this. I'm gonna parlay this into the, I'm gonna ha- I have a bunch of brief comments on this because you, Jill covered it, almost all of it. The, but the topic is, you know, why we do what we do, why we're Land Academy, why we're not, you know, uh, 22 years old teaching people how to buy and sell land, because which is the topic right after this. If this entire topic bores you, confuses you, there's too much numbers, you don't understand the time value of money or the velocity of money, or you're not generally interested in real estate, you just want you want to stand in front of a Ferrari with a thumb up and mm-hmm. take pictures of yourself, Land Academy is not for you. This conversation and discussion about acquisition criteria and multiples of uh, churning $150,000, how many times a year you can do it. If that interests you, schedule a call with, this is with the our, group. <laughs> our, yeah, you're in the right place. Yeah. But you know, the days of trying, uh, Jill and I are almost 10 years uh, instructing now. And mm-hmm. geez, I'm, I've been buying and selling land for 30 years and yeah. I'm not really interested in explaining why this is important. <laughs> We'll just leave it at that. Like end on that. It's like a mic drop moment. I'm not real interested in doing that. <laughs> you're both right, by the way. And you're both, if you're not already successful, I'm sure that the money lender here, M, is incredibly successful, which is why she, they're no, neither one of these people are taking anything seriously. They're just in a healthy debate between the two I of love them it. about how, I love how it. am I going to make, how am I going to turn 150 grand yeah. 10 times a year, which by the way is a million dollars. I love these and discussions. And they're nonchalantly saying, yeah. you got your way, I got my way. That's, uh, uh, let me know how it goes and we'll have a, a drink together at the end. I love it. Isn't that great? Yeah, no one's whining about not having enough right. money. They're just whining about the way they're doing it. You know what they're not doing too? It's great. Is trying yeah. to get out of working. They're not trying to get out of doing, doing something. True. You know, they're past all that. Both of these people are past the fact that there's a bunch of work involved here. Uh, they've got capital. They have access to capital. They're both in Land Academy. They're not asking questions like, well, how much, how many hours do I have to spend to buy and sell land to make a hundred thousand dollars? And I have two little kids. They're not asking questions like that. 
Today's next topic is why Land Academy is the most experienced land investment membership group on the internet. And you just heard my opinion on it. I just think it's because of who we are. You know, we, that's the thing. And that's what I want. That was the, my main point I wanted to make. The majority of people in Land Academy are not brand new to this business and they are not brand new to us and money they have been with us for years so i'm all about new blood and new ideas and helping other people get going in this happily slash however i'm now in protective mode <laughs> and you better be a good fit for our group or you're just not going to get in so that's it. I'm I'm really taken. Uh, this Land Academy 500 is phenomenal. And when I'm at Land Academy 498, and we're we have two slots open, I'm looking for people that are going to bring some experience to the group. Me too. That's really it. We are not here to. And I and I and I it doesn't mean this. You can't get to this point. I'm just saying, this is not who we are. I'm I'm really not here to take someone in and go. Oh. I know you're trying to decide if you want to open uh, a nail salon or do real estate or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're do like, real estate. I love that sentence. Like that. Like, I'm going to go do real estate. I'm going to do real estate. Like, no, no, I'm not. And I'm not here to explain to people that money can be made in real estate. I'm not here to do that either. I'm here to say, oh, all right. You used to work for what county and you did what? Or you yeah. did this over here or you were um, a developer in X state and you have how many deals? And you know, that's the people that are coming or in Or I just now. sold a, my chain of restaurants and I've got, you know, a bunch of extra money. I'm kind of retired. But you still or, You know, and, but, you know I'm gonna flip it's, this around through to, yeah. it's like, look, if you're brand, if we all were brand new at some point. We were all brand new. And so this isn't some, we're not excluding anybody. If you're brand new and you have the right attitude and you, you know that buying and selling land in your soul is uh, something that you want to do and you want to you want to focus on that one thing that makes us all successful in this entire group, which is buying undervalued property, great. This is what I want you to do. I want you to spend the next six months of your life going about your business as you have gone about your business before, immersing yourself in the inter into the internet, listening to shows like this, uh, talk, whatever content you can absorb on the internet that's free. I don't want you to pay for anything. Well, go to our YouTube. At the end, yeah, our stuff, but our, our stuff included, but not just us. Not just us. Six yeah. months, immerse yourself, and if you feel at the same way at the end of six months, wow, I feel better about this now and I wanna do it, then look into joining Land Academy. Right. Because we all started somewhere, and I, I'll i tell you, I would made a ton of mistakes. Hold on a second, all right? I made a ton of mistakes all the mistakes that about that you're about to make when you start down the path of doing that first deal we have done and we talk about in the program so this is not and we're not excluding uh it's this is not an exclusion effort on joe's part it's not no we're trying to preserve and i love this word preserve the opportunity that we have created for a closed group to make a ton of money together. Yep. And if you're the right person, no matter where you are in your career, welcome to Land Academy. My only point is I want you to, to, and for the right person, this is the right group. And you don't have that much experience, but that's just the kind of person that you are. Like if you're the kind of person, like I can't believe I had to suffer through, you know, my undergrad to get to the mass, the MBA program. Cause that's, I did, I suffered through that. I was already, I was way smarter than that, but they made me sit through all those classes to get to the MBA program. Cause now I can go off and run and do what the things I want to do. Like that's kind of a little bit who we are. We aren't a little skip along. Let's all look at each other's work together kind of thing. It's like, we're going to get you there and fast. So I, I'm just trying to be clear on that too. I, I want everybody to have realistic expectations coming into that. If you're like, yeah, Jill, you should, you want, I, I will do whatever it takes. I did it in this business. I did it when I started this company. I did it for this career over here. Like, oh, I, I get it. I understand. Like, and I love what you just said. When you spend six months 
just in the in the land community as a whole and make sure this all connect you all make sense you're not running out there trying to build something on a piece of property because you don't need to do that and and we sing to you then by the way we created that land academy uh probably there with the two exceptions Oh, the rest every of the, every the other rest person of the, that's out there yeah. saying you can make money buying and selling land was once a member or at least affiliated with Land Academy in some way. It's not hard to dig and figure that out. And so, and they're much, much, much younger. They have much, all of them have a lot less deal experience. Every single person that is hawking this concept on the internet was affiliated with us in some way. Most of them are members. Most of them just started and they won't be around 12 months from now. And they listen to the show and they have plants all over our products, the membership plants, and they regurgitate what Jill and I say. So they're much better looking. They are um, hey, probably more entertaining. Hey, hold on a moment. Back up <laughs> they're on more, that one. They're more entertaining and they are, um, they're, they are full of fill in the blank, most of them. And that's not what this is about. This is about why you're here. You're here because cause you've been doing it since the 90s. Yeah. And gosh, I came along with you in 2009 when I jo we joined forces, right? 2009, I think. So, and then, God, I can't believe Land Academy. We're going on nine years now. How cool is that? All those groups that I just uh, mentioned are also grossly out of compliance with the user agreement that they signed when they signed up. And we're there is that. we have been and are now taking that into our own hands legally. So, yeah. Thank now you. we're done with the disclaimer. Sheesh. <laughs> let's take a look at another. Let's take another look at one of our favorite land acquisitions from our weekly Thursday member webinar. Putnam County, Florida. Buy for twenty three eighty nine. Sell for twelve thousand. Flat. A little wet. Yeah, I see the wet. I'm already out. I'm out. Price. Yeah. This is one of those tough ones too. I feel bad, Jeff. When and then when you say if you want to call him back and say, you know what, I did some more recon and I just have to tell you, I'm I, I'm not interested. I, I wish you all the best. And they go, well, wait, what would you pay? And it pulls on your heartstrings because you don't even want to say, I wouldn't even give you a hundred bucks, yeah. like because my time's worth more than that. The real kicker for me is is it's obviously wet, but yeah. it, it, there are some cases where there's structures, so there's nothing. There are no structures here at all. So the usability of this property is uh, recreation at best. And maybe then maybe not. This has, looks like it has access here. Yeah. Florida is packed full of what some people call these paper subdivisions where somebody went and subdivided it all. This is long before subdivision regulations grew up the way that they are now. Like, so you can see this. Mm -hmm. That's good to see. I'm going to let this fill. So there's activity that's outside of this FEMA floodplain. Next, next one, Jill. Okie dokie. Jill, you have something inspirational to share after all that. I know, I better. Let me like save this. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just, uh, it's just know who you are, I guess. You know, my Know who you are is beautiful. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's hard sometimes to admit that I'm not that good. You know, uh, there's, a, there's a person right now actually that's, I'm hearing a little bit out of one ear with my team discussing that um, an individual recently joined and I think this person might be in over their head. So we are there on our radar and my first thought is, can we help? Let's just make sure, you know, let's see. And, and it's so, I wanna help them, if, you know, so if you come into this and you're like, uh-oh, these guys are brilliant, I'm not that good in Excel, you know, my first, my first instinct is we're gonna try to help you. All right, go take this class, show up for the uh, orientation classes, be on every Thursday call. I want you, I don't, who cares if you have to watch everything three times, big deal, most do, you're not nuts, so, uh, and, and, and if you are committed, we'll get you, we'll get you there, but you have to know who you are and you have to be able to say, cause there's a time sometimes you have to go, I'm just not cut out for this and that's okay too. What do you have to share with us today? Something informational? This message. Yeah. I want you, we want you here. Mm -hmm. We, we want you here, uh, after you have really done a lot of research and mm -hmm. and come to the determination with yourself and your family that this is for you mm -hmm. we don't want you to sign up 
You can't anymore, actually, because Jill's got it all uh, locked, locked in. down. <laughs> we don't want you to. Um, let me, let me put it this way: when you find uh, ask a girl out on a date, and you're maybe two or three dates in, do you want to find out things about yourself? Do you present yourself in a way that you know? Well, maybe she can fix me. Maybe she can. Uh, all the there's a, these things about that I really want to change about myself. She's going to help me do that. No, and she doesn't want that either. She wants the best of you. She wants the person that that has probably been on their own for quite some time, figured out what they're going to do for a living, uh, who's going to you know treat her the way that she deserves to be treated. You know, this is all two way. It's this is not man or woman specific. You want you know you want to be better together. We want to be better together with you. True. We don't. We don't want to change your diaper. Can we quickly circle back to? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she can fix me. <laughs> I really gotta ask on that one real quick. Is that something a man would actually think in the back of their head? Um, they wouldn't. Uh, they they wouldn't think. They wouldn't say that sentence to themselves. But what they're saying is subconsciously. Well, let me put it this way. Why do people, when they get into a relationship, kind of let themselves go physically and mentally? It's the same thing. Not that they're going to get fixed. Like, I don't get that. Men are, it's not conscious, but, and it's, I don't think it's just men. I think it's women too. It's like, oh, thank God I'm in a relationship now. I don't have to wear these heels anymore. (laughs) Or I don't have to, I don't need to go to college. I I don't need to complete college. This is, this is what I wanted anyway. I'm trying to think, is there any version of anything like that? Both of those things are bad. Like you do want to wear heels once in a great while. You just do. You want to dress up once in a while. No, please tell me, does there any, well, since we're sharing, did I let myself go? <laughs> no, actually, you got better. I think you got better as a defense mechanism for all the hell I put you through. Oh, well, there is that. <laughs> Just kidding. You did too. I'm, I'm, uh, it's not about us. I, I really know. mean it. Like, this isn't going to make you better, Land Academy. It's not, it's not going to, um, I don't mean make you better. This is not going to, uh, this is not going to solve anything that you haven't been able to solve on your, by yourself on your own. This will, grossly enhance your financial position in oh, life. Oh, that's good. That's what this will do. But it's not going to solve your personality disorder. <laughs> because there are some people that use support at landacademy.com for that reason to try to solve their own personality disorder. <laughs> they think somewhere in there there in our our customer service staff is the answer to why uh their kids don't listen to them. They just fell out of the best relationship in their life. <laughs> <You're so funny. laughs> <laughs> on that note, join us next Wednesday for another interesting episode. You are here to buy land cheap and sell it for more on the internet. A lot more. We, we are, are Jack, Jack and Jill. Jill. Information and inspiration. To buy undervalued property. We hope you find our content valuable and we appreciate your support. If you have not already, please check out our channel and hit the subscribe button. And your comments and suggestions help us uh, to create the content you're here for. Hitting the like button helps to support our channel's algorithm and gauge your interest for future shows. 